This is Alex Moore, behalf of That Nerd Show, here for the DIFF 2017, and we are live at Dallas City Performance Hall, and right now talking about the feature film Delt, joined by Luke Corum, the director, and Richard Turner, who is the man that this uh, movie is all about. So, I'm um, curious about you, Mr. Corum. Uh, what brought you two guys together um, to go ahead and make this documentary? Uh, well, actually, my, uh, my dad made his living as a professional magician for many years, and I used to perform with him as a kid. And um, so my dad was the one who actually told me about Richard. And uh, I live in Austin now, Richard's in San Antonio. So um, I got introduced to him, and I met him, and obviously he's an extremely fascinating person, and we just hit it off. <laughs> now, I'm not from that area, but I know they're kind of in close proximity, maybe not quite as much as Dallas-Fort Worth. Is there kind of a rivalry between Austin and San Antonio going on down there? No. 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 Okay. So not like we're up here. Merging together. Yeah, I kind of like what happened like here. Fort Worth, Santa, Santa, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now tell me, Mr. Turner, what got you started in uh, doing these card tricks? Well, uh, first of all, I don't do card tricks. I demonstrate okay. how to cheat at cards. I'm a card mechanic. Wow, a card okay. mechanic is somebody who could control the outcome of a card game. Magicians can't do that with their tricks. It's a it's way beyond the level of the techniques for performing card magic. Just to explain that. And I got started watching James Garner when I was a little boy, about 1961. And uh, he was so cool the way he had come out on top. And I was the oldest in my family and the oldest didn't lose at anything. So I started creating ways to make sure I didn't lose. And that just kind of propelled itself. I kind of got a reputation through high school. People always say, we know you're cheating, but we just can't figure out how because I'd always win. So his name was, they nicknamed him The Cheat. My, all, my, all my life, my, my, I was, no, my dad said, hey, yo, cheat. That's how he referred to me. I'm doing to, hey, yo, cheat, but he said it with affection. I have a quick question since we're a huge movie buffs and talking about cards. What's your favorite card movie? Oh, my favorite card. Oh, oh I, I like uh, Tombstone. Uh, I, like, I like Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp, those characters. And Wild Bill Hickok, you know, shot in... Uh, 1876, uh, you know, uh, Dead Man Saloon. Uh, so I don't know. The, I don't remember, actually remember the names of them, but I can remember to tell you the names of some of the TV you know shows. You're talking, you're, you make me want to go watch the Cincinnati Kid. Oh yeah, Butch Cassidy. Uh, yeah, that was another good one. And then the Sting was a good one. I I, yeah, I used to go and uh, back then I had a little. I had some peripheral vision. Came out in the, I think 73 with Paul Newman and Robert Redford and. Uh, I'd go and I'd want and watch John Scarney. He was the mechanic. He was the mechanic, the card mechanic that did the second deals in that film, and uh, so that was uh, that was fun. But oh. anyway, then I, I got to work, uh, work I have one with more one more. Oh yeah, I was gonna say we started working with a man named Di Vernon, and that's where I really got my takeoff. And he was the best, he was considered the best in the world with a deck of cards for a, for a, awesome. almost a century. Well, I can see you're very comfortable with the cards, so that's uh, that's pretty awesome to see. Uh, we have one last question since we are that nerd show. Something that we're asking everybody who graces the red carpet with us. If you could be a superhero or a supervillain, what would be your superpower and why? Richard, you go first. Okay. I would be adamant. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I knew his answer was going to be more interesting than mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, because I could lift up you. Okay. And I would okay. only be that big. That's that's a, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um. Gosh. Well, in that case, that'd be Wonder Woman. Well, I wonder about this woman sometimes. <laughs> he, he thinks he has a beard, but he doesn't. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it was a pleasure talking with you, and we wish you all the best on the documentary here at the film festival. Well, uh, thank you. Very thank you very much. much. For, uh, letting us uh, chat with you. All right.